Well, hello there. My name is John Meyer, and I made a sound for the Piano Book Winter Voices collaboration using my voice and this tape recorder that I've had since I was a kid. The requirements for this collaboration are super simple. All I have to do is sing one note, and it will be joined with all the other singers. And on Christmas Day, there will be a choir that we can all download and use. I've been wanting to find a way to work this into my productions ever since I found it in my parents' attic when they were moving. I've had it my entire life. I don't know where it came from, and I've been looking for a way to work it into my productions. And although it's not necessarily wintry, I thought it'd be a good fit for this project. Today is the due date for this project, and I started it at 8 o'clock this morning, both the video and the sound. And I knew going into it that I didn't have two important elements, a cassette and four C batteries, neither of which I've purchased in 20 years. Fortunately, there is a Walmart nearby, and since Walmart has everything, I crossed my fingers, and I was able to, with some searching, find a cassette in the electronics section, and then found a few cheap Rayovec batteries for this project. mistake of not eating breakfast before I left the house and there's a Whataburger right next to Walmart so I got a taquito and some coffee. When I was driving home it clicked with me that there's no guarantee that even with the cassette and batteries that this was going to work. Fortunately the play and fast forward and rewind worked but when I tried to record I got this horrific sound. Of course, I took my phone out and recorded this in the voice memos because you never know when that sound would be useful. And I thought about giving up at this point, but I realized I had an old cassette deck in my garage. So, plan B. The easiest thing at this point would be to record into one of my nice microphones and send it off and be done, but that's not very fun at all. And I've just done some videos on my SP202 and my patch bay, so I thought, let's see if we can go through the SP202. There is a mic on it, and I'm sure it's about equivalent to the mic on the Fisher-Price tape deck. And then I went into the tape deck and recorded each note. Now, I started at C0 and worked my way up to D-sharp 5, I believe, uh, going up in fifths with each note. Honestly, it wasn't all that great. A lot of it sounded like this. Once I had audio on the cassette, I had to use my Fisher-Price tape deck and the speaker on the back of it. So I took the tape out, put it back into the Fisher-Price, mic'd it with my U47 because it deserves the best, and then recorded the sounds that I made into Pro Tools. Once in Pro Tools, I went and found the most usable, maybe the only usable note, which was E2. And I duplicated the sound and crossfaded it, tried to make it a little bit longer, did some reversing. And here is the sound going from my SP202, my voice through the SP202, into the cassette deck, out of the Fisher-Price, through the U47, into Pro Tools. Here is E2. I did take the sound and run it through my delays and reverbs and try to come up with something a little more interesting and I may very well revisit that in the future but now we just got the one note hey and sometimes you try to make a sample and it works great and sometimes it's not all that inspiring this may have been one of those moments however I think in the grand scheme of things it might sound pretty nice so there's my contribution hope you enjoyed it if you like this video and you're new to the channel i make videos all the time about music related stuff so please consider subscribing hit the like button and i'll talk to you very soon